I would like to share with you some of my favorite pearls for success using the Knotless 1.8 FiberTac Anchor for shoulder instability. This is our typical setup for shoulder instability. We'll be viewing from the anterior superior portal with Gemini cannulas in both the posterior and anterior inferior portals. This gives you excellent viewing and access to the anterior, posterior, and inferior aspects of the glenoid for repair. Inferior anchor placement is often challenging. And as you can see, the standard posterior portal does not provide the proper angle for drill guide placement. Make sure you have the percutaneous set with the peak cannula for all your instability cases, as it is essential for optimal drill guide position for the 6 o'clock anchor. I'm going to gently lever the humeral head to achieve the optimal angle for drilling. During drilling, I would recommend cycling the drill in and out of the bone to completely remove any excess debris. This permits easy insertion of the anchor as well as allowing the sutures to slide without tension for easy shuttling and tensioning. I highly recommend that the surgeon holds the drill guide and the assistant drills and places the anchor to ensure that the drill position does not shift between drilling and anchor placement. At this point you're ready to set your anchor and I would encourage you to take your time during this step. Once the drill guide is removed, I recommend grabbing all the sutures and gently applying a steady pull in line with the cannula to set your anchor. I would also advise visualizing the anchor setting with the scope as well. You can certainly see how sturdy this anchor is as I am able to tug hard even in cadaveric bone without pullout. After our anchor is set securely, we'll separate our sutures. You can certainly appreciate the repair stitch, which is dark blue, and the shuttle link, which is tiger. We'll set aside the repair stitch and focus primarily on the shuttle link. Before you shuttle your repair stitch, I recommend cycling the shuttle link through the anchor to ensure all bone and soft tissue is removed from the socket and to confirm that the shuttle link slides easily without tension. Once the repair stitch has been passed through the labrum, we're ready to shuttle the repair stitch through the anchor. It's in your best interest to remove all the tangles from the repair suture to allow optimal shuttling. To do this, I'd recommend grabbing each suture individually with a ring grasper and slowly pull them out the cannula before shuttling. Now let's talk about shuttling the repair stitch through the anchor using the shuttle link. You can appreciate the purple mark on the repair stitch which indicates how much of the repair stitch that needs to be placed through the loop of the shuttle link. Once the repair stitch is placed through the loop, have an assistant hold gentle tension on the repair stitch to allow easy sliding of the shuttle link until you can visualize the purple mark ready to enter the anchor. At this point, short, quick suture pulls will improve consistency. You can appreciate the end of the repair stitch as it's shuttled through the anchor. Now that our repair stitch is passed, I prefer to take some of the slack out of the repair stitch, but not to fully tension it. If you happen to have twists or tangles in your loop, don't panic. I want to show you how to stay out of trouble. Here you see our 7 o'clock anchor that has a slight tangle, and the key is adding tension to the loop with a ring grasper. This gentle tension allows the repair stitch to slide easily through the anchor without placing undue force across the anchor or the labrum. Being patient during this process is important, as you want to take the slack off the suture but allow it to gently slide through the anchor. Once we have all our anchors placed and our sutures passed, it's time to tension our repair. I like to use a grasper to position the tissue while tensioning the anchors. This typically involves shifting the capsular labral tissue superiorly and laterally. You can see our final repair. We have an anatomic repair of the labrum with excellent tension on the capsule as well. Thank you for your time and I hope this demonstration has been educational.